I am going to present the work of Maria Chuneva and co-authors titled as An Empirical Study of Example Forgetting During Deep Neural Network Learning. This was presented in ICLR 2019 and uh, had opened a new line of work for other researchers to work on uh, catastrophic forgetting. So in this, re uh, in this presentation, uh, my focus will remain narrowed towards uh, the implementation part of the paper. So authors made their work public on GitHub and uh, hence I cloned the repository directly and have tried to reproduce the results for the same. In further slides, I will show um, two datasets because uh, the approach for uh, uh, like approach to solve the problem of example forgetting for CIFAR is different. I mean, has done differently from MNIST. So let's start with MNIST. So the first step is to uh, set up the arguments and fix the parameters. In other words, uh, the arguments which are passed in the Python uh, Python command line are channelized via Python directly. Uh, like directly in the sense uh, we are using the dictionary here, key value pairs here. So uh, here we are keeping all the arguments and parameters to their uh, default values to get the first output. Load the, uh, load the splitted data set that is a train dataset and test dataset respectively. Then uh, step three includes uh, step three includes uh, that uh, training train the learning algorithm with the MNIST dataset for 200 epochs. Uh, epochs can be changed manually also. After every epoch, you want to uh, basically save the parameters from the learning uh, for I mean from the learning algorithm for the forgetting statistics. So this is how you save the data to dictionary uh, and then save to pickle file. So once you save that, uh, you probably uh, like uh, want to, I mean, meanwhile in the training process, you want to save the indices for the real examples in the batch that is in the, uh, that is in within the train function, you permute the samples on each mini batch and get the indices of each samples. If provided transformation flag, then you can also proceed with uh, transforming the data set appropriately and uh, get the, so basically the uh, main function in step four is to uh, get the indices for the mini batch, which is a subset of uh, permuted indices. Then, uh, um, then once done, do the forward pass and compute the losses. Also get predicted labels. So cross entropy loss is used here and uh, the code here, uh, like code here, get the index, uh, index of the maximum in the data, which is also a tensor that is get the index of the maximum value in the data. Um, then, uh, um, then, um, you basically get the accuracy of, uh, of each sample in the mini batch and compute the statistics. So computing the statistics means like, uh, um, you first, uh, first uh, want to get the list of uh, true and false for each of the examples, uh, which are where predicted and target are equal. So this is how first, uh, co like first line of the code is being executed. Um, then iterate over the indices in the mini batch and uh, get the index in original data set so that which is not sorted by forgetting right uh, this is the original um, like original ind indices of the data set um, which was uh, prior to the uh, sorting of the data set then compute the misclassification margin and uh, get the probability outputs for the correct expected class then um, Combine all the statistics and uh, save save all that to a pickle file. Here you are doing the same. Uh, that is appending all the um, all the metrics you have computed so far and uh, saving it to a pickle file. This is how uh, you are uh, executing the MNIST dataset. Now let's uh, uh, move towards CIFA dataset. For CIFAR dataset, uh, specifically CIFAR 10 uh, was trained with no sorting, no sample removal, no data augmentation, no cutout. 
so for each event calculate loss and predict output um, update accuracy loss statistics of each event and save it to example statistics this is the step 3 uh, then in step 4 in step 4 um, sort the data set based on forgettable events that is uh, um, like use accuracy value after training the CIFAR data to compute whether event is learned or unlearned or forgettable so basically learned event is when um, like event with accuracy of 1 and uh, unlearned event is basically the event with accuracy 0 and forgettable event is the event in which uh, you are uh, actually dropping the uh, classification accuracy from 1 to 0 and where uh, uh, where after each training epoch your uh, classification is getting uh, reduced like correct classification is getting re reduced for that example so find all the like forgetting event is a transition in uh, this is how uh, your forgetting event was described and uh, you need to now uh, find all the presentations when forgetting occurs and uh, find the number of presentations uh, needed to learn example so basically um, you probably want to uh, get the most of uh, the uh, incorrectly classified examples in the multiple uh, running epochs in the later stages of the training so that you get the most uh, informative uh, like most information from those examples and uh, you generalize better in that case so um, find all the presentations when forgetting occurs and find number of uh, presentations needed to learn example that is uh, like last uh, presentation when accuracy is zero then find the misclassification margin for each presentation uh, of the example and uh, find the presentation at which the example was first learned and uh, first uh, like for example first presentation when accuracy was 1 so uh, the takeout is the takeout here is basically you want to actually um, sort the data set right so to actually sort the data set you probably want to uh, uh, array, uh, give a number to each of the example so that uh, 1 being the correctly classified and uh, zero means the unforget i mean that is the zero means the forgettable example and uh, like zero means the un unlearned example basically and uh, you probably want to uh, go with the learned example but uh, most of the information comes from the unlearned example and uh, you will uh, sort the uh, sort the forgettable events from 1 to z basically uh, in uh, high to low uh, low order that is descending order and uh, then you will uh, you will try to learn those examples in further learning uh, learning cycles so um, sort the data set based on the forgettable events and uh, sort example statistics to rank the uh, to rank the example from highest forgetting count to the lowest forgetting count and save the sorted file with a statistic of sample id and sample values this is what we are doing here and uh, and uh, train the learning algorithm again and repeat the process uh, like process 1 and 2 which which we are doing here process 1 and process 2 repeat that process until you get the uh, like get the most of the examples uh, classified correctly and you get a better generalization so this is how um, a basic learning happens in um, in this uh, uh, setting and uh, for uh, for process 3 train the learning algorithm again and repeat process 1 and 2 with random data removal so uh, in the report uh, I have clearly uh, shown that uh, there are three type of graphs which were uh, uh, like which were produced that is uh, no removal which we have seen in the earlier slides now you want to remove uh, the examples randomly 
एंड रिकॉर्ड द रिकॉर्ड द रिजल्ट अगेन बाय फॉलोइंग द प्रोसेस वन इन टू अगेन बाय रिमूविंग द रैंडम रिमूविंग द सैम्पल्स रैंडमली एंड नाउ यू लाइक इन दिस प्रोसेस फोर यू वॉन्ट टू रिपीट द सेम प्रोसेस इज वन एंड टू बट विद द सॉर्टेड रिमूवल सो यू विल फाइंड दैट द एग्जाम्पल्स विच आर लाइक रिमूवड फ्रॉम हाइएस्ट टू लोएस्ट ऑर्डरिंग ऑफ लाइक हाइएस्ट टू लोएस्ट सॉर्टिंग एंड वेन यू रिमूव दोज एग्जाम्पल्स विच विच आर अनलर्न और विच माइट नॉट पार्टिसिपेट इन द लर्निंग प्रोसेस then you will find that you have, you will be reducing the data set side size without uh, uh, compromising the accuracy overall accuracy overall test accuracy so this was the major uh, um, contribution uh, in the program part and uh, these are the references uh, that is all and uh, most of the results are uh, in the notebook directly so if you try to open the notebook you will find uh, like most of the results are uh, um, are executed I, i mean are in the output section section of the notebook file so that is all thank you